Hey everybody, it's Mr. Markovich once again here to congratulate you on making it to the end of another unit. Unit 3, Cinematography. We did it! Yay! So this is your summative project for this unit. This is where you're going to take all the information that you've learned, and put it all together, and basically, you know, show me what you learned. So for this assignment, you guys are going to create a one to three minute silent film. Now you must include distinct examples of at least four different camera distances. We talked about extreme wide shots. We talked about wide shots. We talked about medium shots and medium close-ups and close-ups and extreme close-ups, all those different camera distances. I want to see at least four distinct examples of camera distances. I want to see distinct examples of at least two camera angles. We talked about eye level, that'll be the obvious one. Low angle, high angle, extreme high angle, extreme low angle, Dutch angle, whatever. Just two. I just want to see two. <laughs> All right. If you have more, that's fine, but at least two. And at least three camera movements. We talked about dolly shots, we talked about trucking shots, tilts and pans and rolls cranes, all of those. All right, I want to see at least three distinct examples of camera movements. Now you might be saying, hey, Mr. Markovitz, where's, where's the deep focus? Where's the shallow depth of field? Hey, if, if you incorporate some deep focus and some shallow depth of field shots into your silent film, great. But there's no requirement for that, okay? Uh, where's the telephoto lenses, Mr. Markovitz? If you have a telephoto lens lying around at home and you want to use it for your silent film, great, I'll be impressed, but it's not a requirement, okay? The only requirements, the only must includes on this list are the four camera distances, the two camera angles, and the three camera movements. Now, what should your silent film include? Well, it should include a story. Remember stories going all the way back to the beginning of the year? Well, I like stories, and I hope that your silent film <laughs> <laughs> will tell me a good story, right? Uh, what else should it include? Effective use of the mise-en-scene, right? We talked about lighting, we talked about props, we talked about location, blocking, costume and makeup, all that stuff. You know, we're, we're, we're slowly building all of these different steps and hopefully, you know, these summative projects just look better and better as the year goes on. So, yeah, absolutely, should include a story should include effective use of mise-en-scene. What do I not want to see in your video? I don't want any dialogue of any sort, whether that's two people talking, or one person narrating, or, you know, lyrics in a song. You can play music, absolutely, you can put music, but I want to only hear, you know, instrumental music. I don't want to hear any lyrics in the background. Uh, I don't want to see any text bubbles, okay, or any uh, uh, inner titles, they're technically called, um, where, you know, uh, a character is talking but you don't hear them, and then it cuts to, you know, like a title screen of what they're saying. I don't want to see any of that, okay, because technically that's still dialogue, all right? Um, I don't want it to look like, you know, a, a Charlie Chaplin or a Buster Keaton silent film. I just want you to tell a story with nothing but the visuals. It can be done. It's a challenge, but it can be done. What do you need to include with your silent film? You need to include a treatment, short paragraph explaining, you know, what your story is about, um, who are the characters, what, what is their motivation, you know, whatever, something like that. I'm going to hold off on the script. I understand that writing the script might be kind of difficult, being that there's no dialogue, so it would just be scene headings and action. Um, I'm just not going to include a script for this assignment, okay, so you're welcome. Um, but you do have to include a storyboard. I think more than ever, the storyboard for this assignment is crucial because you really need to think, you know, what, what do these shots convey to the audience? What is the message that these shots, these distances, these angles, these movements convey to the audience? Because you have to tell a story and you have to do it without dialogue. So how do you do it? Well, you do it with the shots. So I think you really have to include a storyboard for this assignment and really put some thought into the different types of shots and movements and angles that you intend to use because, uh, yeah, this is a challenge. So I'm challenging you. So there you go. Good luck, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Email me or talk to me in class. But again, congratulations on making it to the end 
of Unit 3, our unit on cinematography, and I'll see you in Unit 4. Bye!